everyone welcome to my channel code beyond talk in this video i'm going to share my tcs interview question for four to seven years of experience i gave the tcs interview and from that interview i have collected few questions that i'll be sharing in this video so the people who are preparing for the interview for the tcs can get help from this questions which i'll be sharing here right now so i will share the how the interview process happened like uh, it was a one day process and uh, there were uh, two rounds of technical interview and one hr round so i'll be sharing few questions from the technical round uh, so let's watch the video till end so that you also know like what type of questions were asked so let's move on to the first question how the interview started so uh, first question it started as usual like everybody starts with the introduction so you give your introduction uh, in intro in introduction what you can include is like you can give brief about your family and then you can also give about your education and then you can talk about the tech stack so far which you have worked on kind of thing you can give but it should not be too long it should be like in brief and then the second question was asked which was like you explain about project and what role you have played in that project so you explain the project whichever you have worked so and you have the maximum knowledge because there will be some cross questions also based on your answers so you should be very clear about your project and the role which you have played under that project and the next question which was asked since I told in my project that I have used Kafka. So the ne next question which they ask is how to configure Kafka in a Spring Boot project. So that I also answered because uh, based on your answer there will be few cross questions as I said in the beginning right. So this was the one of the cross question which I got from my explanation what I told in the project. So there will be few more in your case. So and then they asked about Java 8 features. Uh, definitely if it is a Java interview, this is very important uh, features came in Java 8 that everybody asked and you should be well aware about those features. Like there are so many uh, stream API, Lambda expression and etc. So you should be very uh, well aware about Java 8 features. And the next question was on the stream API, like they asked me to write some stream API query. So you should be knowing about how to write query using a stream API because there were so many built in functions uh, like terminal operators and non terminal operators. So we have intermediate operators and terminal operators, right? So those type of questions you should be knowing and what uh, function comes under the intermediate and what function comes under the terminal op so you should be knowing all those things and then there will be some scenario based question also like they will check your knowledge whether you really have that uh, or you have worked on that type of questions or not because scenario based question you will only be able to answer when you have done the work so one question which I got was like we have to filter the ID to a list from map which has employee ID and string. So the question was like you you are given a map which has uh, AMP ID and string like key and value pair and I have to filter out all the AMP ID and store into a list. So these were the questions like some manipulation of your collections uh, framework so if you have done so far in the project uh, it was it is not very tough question it's easy but if you have not done earlier you won't be able to do it and then the next question was like how to copy data from one class to another class so it was like you have a two classes and you are using something in one of the class and that data also you need to be used in another class then how will you do so this is another uh, type of like practical questions I would say if you would have done then only you will be able to answer that and the next question which was asked is what happens when a Spring Boot project starts? So you should be knowing like when we start a Spring Boot project what all functions happens. It's not just that we 
done the project and it got started behind the scene there are so many things that happens so you should be knowing each and everything uh, if you want me to answer the question then let me know in the comment section uh, here I am not giving the full answer it's just that discussion about the questions which was asked but if anybody wants to know like what will be the answer of these questions uh, please let me know in the comment section I can make another video on that and then another question was like have you used any dashboard for monitoring uh, definitely if you have worked in any of the project there are so many monitoring monitoring tool that are being used for the monitoring purpose uh, since I had used uh, so I told yes I used Splunk was used in my case for monitoring the logs so that I said uh, in your case might be some other tool so depending upon like what tool you have used you can answer these questions and then next question was what is CICD pipeline so it's very important questions when you are uh, working as a Java backend developer you should have also knowledge about CICD and how the process it happens uh, if you don't have much hands on on CICD pipeline it's okay to say that I have not done hands on but you should be knowing about the process like how it works and all those things so you can tell the processes of CICD and other things which then they asked me about the Jenkins uh, so Jenkins is again uh, one of the tools which are used for the deployment purpose so I said the answer and uh, they were happy and satisfied with my answer there are so many other tools as well available so if you have used somebody else you can correlate and you can tell the answer related to that and then next question was like have you used the J unit and what is the coverage in your project so yes uh, if you are a backend developer and you are using uh, you have used like anything you have developed any API or any functionality in the Java so it must that you should write the unit test as well so J unit is used for the writing the test cases and uh, we have a coverage for uh, like it may be in your project maybe 90% of coverage or 80% depending upon how uh, much percentage is required uh, in my case it was 80% uh, so I said yes it was 80% in my project and then the process they wanted to know like how to deploy your project so yes as I talked about right uh, CICD and other things in the previous question so you should be knowing about like how a project is getting deployed in a real world so that you can tell and there were few questions related to multi-threading as well uh, so they asked me like how many ways you can create a thread uh, definitely there are two ways right by which you can create a thread so I answered that as well and then they give one scenario based question like uh, see you have a five threads and out of five threads two threads are stopped so how to know like which two threads are stopped out of five threads so these are the few tricky questions that you should be knowing uh, with respect to the multi-threading and again I am telling that if you want me to answer all of these questions please let me know in the comment section I can make a separate video for, for that and the last question which they asked about me was uh, how will you create an alert so uh, this question is like uh, let's say for any API you have written and you want me to create a alert on the failure of that API so in that case how will you do like there are multiple ways where you can create a alert but I said one of the ways which was uh, this monitoring tool I said right we were using a Splunk and a Splunk has that capability where you can create a alert for your failure of API or any other situation as well where you want so that alert can be created so this was the questions which was asked and uh, I was able to answer most of the questions and my interview was cleared and I got selected so I hope that these questions will help who is watching this video and if you liked my video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment I'll see you in the next videos thank you